Hello everybody and welcome back to the Old Stream Farm. So today I'm feeling a lot better than the previous episode. Um, I was pretty tired out, so I don't think I was thinking very straight. But anyway, yes, today I have um, prepared a few things. I have been doing some research into the mod which allows you to bail canola. It looks like it was actually only recently published. So that is really great, because I was hoping uh, to get some straw from the canola. And I was wondering if you could actually do it in 22, because I knew you could do in previous versions of the game. Um, but yeah, the mod does exist. It's called the Extended Straw Mod. So it is available on Mod Hub, and we're going to be using it today. Actually, to be more specific, it is the Extended Straw Crops mod. Um, so anyway, yeah, we, what we need to do is get the Go Wheel Baler, and we need to get the Forage Wagon, so that we can first of all pick up and bale the grass field. We then have the two hay fields that need to be rowed up, which will only take a minute or two. Uh, just need to reconfigure this, because we're currently still set to the twin wheels. We do not want to have twin wheels for this. Yeah, the reason why I'm not rowing up the hay first is just so we can get cracking with the baling. And then once we've done all the hay and the grass, we can then harvest the canola, and then we can bale the canola straw. Hopefully the go wheel will be compatible. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Um, well, you never know. Maybe it won't be, but yeah, the grass certainly will be. So yeah, first things first, we'll get the forage wagon, we'll get a nice full load, then we'll get the go wheel baler, get it set up, put the first load into it, and go from there. It is the first time I've used it in 22. I did use it as a mod, a very good mod, I must say, in, I think it must have been 17, FS17. Um, but yeah, it is now a DLC. Uh, yep, yeah, so let's just choose one of these. Bearing in mind we do have some pretty big gates to go through. I think this one will be sufficient. It'll be very good actually. So we'll lease that. I got my new mouse by the way, so the squeaking of the mouse wheel will have stopped, but it does seem to have a louder click. Luckily we don't have to click too much in this game. And maybe the microphone won't pick it up too, too much anyway, so yeah, we'll see. I noticed the money is now quite low, but we do have things to sell. We've got eggs to sell. I think we've got some other stuff to sell. But I'm not worried about money, because very soon we're going to have all of the silage to sell. And that's a lot of silage. It's at least £150,000 worth. So we might have to borrow some more money, but that's fine. I didn't think we'd need to again on the series, but then, yeah, I'm wanting to go with this different approach of using that Go Wheel Baler, which, as I said before, is not needed. We definitely don't need it, and it is, if you want to go from a uh, financial side of things, a waste of money for this series, but I want to use it. I haven't been able to use it yet on any of my Let's Plays, and this is really the only one it's going to fit into, so, yeah, we're going to use it. So how much are we going to get? Oh yeah, we don't need to bail all of this because we can put some of it straight into the sheep's trough. Um, but it looks like there's going to be a fair amount. Yeah, it looks like it will be just over a full load. It's really hard to guess though. It might be exactly a full load. Yeah, so as I was saying in the previous episode, um, just basically keeping up a video a week, which I've been doing since 2015. Yep, the very beginning of 2015. It's difficult. Because obviously I have a personal life as well, and um, my other channel, which takes a serious amount of time. So I'm just really considering what to do for the best, because Survivor Roleplay takes a long time to plan, and you probably noticed I didn't have much time to make the last episode. The next episode, though, should be a lot better. Um, but yes, it's I, I, maybe I could drop an episode during the week to give myself more time. I really don't know what to do for the best. But I'm not just going to drop Survivor Roleplay, uh, because I do have time. It's just I need to manage the time better, I think, if you know what I mean. 
Like instead of having seven videos a week, I could do six, and then put the extra time into survival roleplay. But then I get a lot of people saying they don't even like survival roleplay, so I don't know. And videos like this are obviously much easier to record, and more fun for me, because they're easier. Very laid back. We can now sell them here, make some money back. If this is good, then we don't have to even borrow any money. Because it won't be long until the silage is ready. Right, they are selling even though it's very, very slow. And this will enable us to rent the Go Wheel. But the Go Wheel is over £200,000. So it's not going to be cheap to rent. It's probably still going to be like £10,000. Maybe not that much, maybe eight. But we do have that money now, that's really brought in quite a bit. So let's go into Baylor's. It's a stationary Baylor. And yeah, it wants to be, I think, this one here. Because we want at least 150 centimeter bales. Okay, it's 13. Pricey, but it's going to be very interesting to use. We didn't have to borrow any money, which is lovely. Do we still have uh, a loan? We might do from the business venture that we did have. Yeah, we've still got a £70,000 loan, so that will be repaid when we sell the silage. Let's just feed the sheep and then we can get started. I always miss the turning. It's right here. It looks like just an entrance to a field, but actually it is our main track to access the farm from this direction. And with the canola straw, that's going to be a massive bonus, because usually it just gets chopped. So being able to sell that is great. Uh, right, what should we retrieve it with? I think probably... Well, this is already out here. It doesn't seem big enough, but it's only towing it. It's not like it's going to be powering it. Although, isn't it self-contained? I, I, it... I think it has its own engine, does it? I don't know. We'll see. It's been a long time since I've used one. It might take a bit of setting up, a bit of getting used to. So you'll have to bear with me. But yeah, it will tow that. It's fine. We just need to be careful going downhill. So if you've never seen this before, it is an incredible machine. It does all unfold. But it is a stationary bale, so you load it from the back. And then the bales will be plopped out at the front. I don't know where the best place to do this is. We need somewhere with a bit of space. Maybe here. This actually looks alright. Fully unfold baler, that sounds good. Crikey. Look at that. Bale size, we need 150. That is just amazing. <laughs> that is brilliant. Right. And then you can turn it on. Oh, it is PTO powered. So, well, I guess it does have enough power. Looks like I have super strength on. I should turn it off. So, yeah, let's just feed those sheep. As I said, I don't think they'll take much. No. Then the rest can be bailed up for later. So we'll swing round. We'll back up into here. And, um... Yeah, that's... <laughs> if it's wrapping grass, it's going to turn into silage. Let's just make this uh, very clear. Yeah, because it's going to wrap any kind of product that you put through it. 
just trying to refresh my memory. Wrapped grass is basically silage. So it would ferment. Okay, well, well, we'll see. It doesn't matter though, we can easily cut some more grass for the uh, sheep. And they have hay. It's just really about trying out the, uh, the baler. So that's all emptying into there, very, very nicely. You can see it's taking it up the conveyor belt. And it should be producing a bale in there right now. Looks like it's ready to pop out. Here it comes. And then it will wrap it. And then it should drop off the bale here. Got all these uh, controls. You can see it filling up again. So it's producing the next bale as this one is being wrapped. There we go. Yeah, so it is a fermenting bale. Still grass at the moment, so we actually could feed that to the uh, sheep, I guess. But the sheep have a full trough. Um, yeah, it's all coming down to the hay, really. If you wrap the hay, that would make it haylage. I don't know if it would ferment into silage as well, but either way, we could just sell them. We, we've got an endless supply of grass, so it's not an issue. So we are going to have to keep clearing this, because as you can see, it's blocked. Um, hmm, this might auto-load. Does it auto-load? The trailer will do. Um, yes, we'll get the trailer. And if this does work, then it's going to be completely automatic. Just load it up and it will automatically produce the bales, wrap the bales and load the bales. But no, that bale type is not supported. So we'd have to go for a different trailer which does support the wrapped round bales. Uh, what does this support then? Because it didn't it didn't support the um, Hestons either. I don't know. Well, for now then, we'll have to load it with the telehandler. We're not fully automated yet, uh, but yes, we shouldn't have any problems loading at least with the collision issue. We'll load the lorry first. And that's it. Everything that we delivered has already been bailed and wrapped. That is so fast. If it was also loading as well, then it would just be done in seconds. Amazing. And this tractor did a good job. So we'll switch it off. Uh, we don't want to be clocking up the time on it. Now it is time to row those other fields. Oh no, that is terrible. I already have a forage wagon. Um, yeah, this is exactly my point that I made in the previous episode where I have too many things ongoing. Lose track of what we've got on each series. Uh, well, not to worry. It'll be different when we get onto the Court Farms Let's Play, which I'm hopefully going to be starting fairly soon, because I'm going to make notes. To avoid any of this confusion. So we have this field first of all, and then we have that other field just over there. Then it'll be time to pick it all up. It is to be fair though, when when it's not a real farm, it's much more tricky to keep track of what you actually own. Like if it was real life, you'd know what you own. You couldn't really forget that you own a forage wagon. Um, but when it's a game, especially when you're running multiple farms, that's when it's much trickier. And I've always done this. I've done this the whole time that I've played FS. I'm sure quite a few people will have forgotten exactly what they have.
let's get it picked up. Put it into the baler. So it'll be interesting to see what it turns it into. Will it even wrap it? It's going to be an interesting test. And this, I think, is rented. Yes. So we'll get that returned. As we already have the forage wagon rented, there's no point returning it now because it's just a waste of money. We might as well use it. And if in the previous episode you were saying you already own a, a forage wagon when I said that I was going to get one, well, that video hasn't been published at the time of recording this, so I won't have seen the comment. Which is, of course, the issue. We're doing it this way, but I have to do it this way. To make sure the videos are out on time. So, yep, yeah, let's pick them up. Pick up these two fields of hay. And also, I will feed as much as we can do to the cows again. Looking good. Between the two fields, it should be more than the full load. First of all, see exactly how much they're going to take. The cows probably are quite hungry. I'd say more hungry than the sheep. Yep, taking plenty. Oh, they might take it all actually. Yes, because their trough is absolutely gigantic. So that's given them a massive boost. We'll bail the other field then. Yeah, so this go wheel bailer is going to be mostly required for the canola. If it works. It's going to be a good test, but I would have thought that the way the mod works is it basically just treats... it, it makes the canola crop acts like a wheat crop, so it would just drop generic straw out the back of the combine. It won't be actually called canola straw. That would be my guess. I can't say that for sure, but that would make perfect sense. Straw is straw in this game, in which case it will work fine. Empty. I need to engage the PTO again on the baler. There we go. Is there a setting for not wrapping? I don't think so. I love the animation. That's really nice. Right, so here comes the baler. Let's see exactly what it is. Yeah just a hay bale. The first one was actually a silage bale, a grass bale, because uh, that was already in there. But it doesn't it doesn't wrap it, it just gives us a hay bale. So that's really good now for just storing for the uh, sheep and for the cows actually. However, there isn't going to be much longer left in this series because we are going to be moving on to court farms at some point. I don't know exactly when. Hopefully soon. Uh, this was always just going to be a stepping stone series move that so it can unload. I'm guessing there is more to come, is there? Is that it? That, maybe that's it. Okay. <laughs> uh, in which case, we'll just put this with the other bales. And the other silage bale can be put on the lorry. So it can be sold later. Or we might use them 
for uh, the total mix ration if we get to that point then we can sell everything in the pit you can also wrap other things like cut sugar beet and I think you can wrap loose silage as well I seem to remember in the modded version you could wrap loads of stuff like wood chips and even manure that was uh, an interesting mod, that was great but now we have one more thing to do and that is to try out the extended straw crop type or the extended straw crop mod um, so basically we just need to see if it's going to drop a swath that's all we need to do and see exactly what the swath is I think it's just going to say straw so over to the canola field I'll have to bring the trailer here too as it is canola it's not going to fill the combine rapidly and I think we'll put the canola into storage we're not going to sell it straight off the field so we should be able to get this whole field harvested today hopefully but here we go the main test I'm not doubting the mod by the way I'm just again experimenting trying to figure stuff out making sure I've interpreted the mod description correctly that it will actually just allow us to drop straw yes it does beautiful so yeah lovely mod yeah it's not going to say anything unless we actually pick it up but it is it's just straw you can tell it's generic straw so we'll get all of this bailed in the next episode but for now we'll get the whole field harvested which I think will be a pretty fast job I'll have to bring a trailer across and just park it where we've already been and then we can tip the trailer into the silo just over there make a bit of space by going around the headland first uh, we should make it easily only 10% full But is everybody looking forward to Court Farms or Court Farm? I certainly am. It's going to be amazing. Oxygen Davis' new map, so detailed, incredibly realistic, full of features, just lovely. It's going to be a good series. It will be a single player series. I know in the past I have opened up Let's Plays to channel members. Um, if I, Yeah, that is actually quite a good way of doing it. If it is going to be. It, when we've advanced enough, like in many, many episodes, like episode 40 or something, um, if we then have some massive fields, then yeah, opening it up to members would be really good, because then we can get the harvest done faster, instead of using AI. We, we, we can use real people instead of just the computer, which I think would really be nice, but that would not be something we do initially, because we'll have a lot to do. That would be if we get some really, really big fields. Well, look at that. We've managed to get the entire field into one hopper. Yeah, I don't think it was fertilised. Pretty sure that wasn't. It just didn't seem good enough. Uh, let's just see. Oh, it was. Okay, well. Uh, like I said, it is canola, but I would have still expected it to be a bit better than that. Although it was still 10,000 almost litres. Well, there we go. It's harvested, and then the straw can be bailed up next time. So we'll bring that trailer across. We can actually use the Merlot. I think. Or maybe we can't. I don't know. I don't know if that's the right hitch. I guess we'll soon find out. Oh, we can do. Lovely. It's not going far.
So plenty more work to come for the go wheel baler. And when we actually do have a, a big large scale farm we can certainly consider getting one of those but yeah this was just to try it out. 53% of the trailer. Well, we'll have a finishing off episode not too far down the line. We'll make sure we get everything out of the silo. Oh, I've really blocked it in. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, we have to go around here. But anyway, yeah, that pretty much concludes the episode. All good except for renting the forage wagon that we didn't need. But we'll still use it next time to pick up the canola straw. But yep, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.